Last time we talked about political power. Now we'll talk about its main ingredient, obedience, the force behind political power. Without it, the oppressor is powerless. It's simple. If people do not obey, the ruler cannot rule. But why are people obedient in the first place? We will present you with 10 reasons. 1. Habit. Since we were born, we have been taught to obey positions of authority. First we obey our parents, then our teachers, then our bosses, sometimes even our spouses. Out of habit, we continue to do so without asking ourselves why we do it. Breaking this habit, just like quitting smoking, is a difficult task. We need to stop obeying and then remind ourselves all the time why it is so important to stop. 2. Self-interest. Although people may have an intense dislike for the oppressor, they may still actively support him. Why? Authorities often reward people for their support. Money, jobs, university positions, they all trigger people's self-interest and they choose to obey. 3. Fear of sanctions. People obey out of fear of punishment. Harassment, losing one's job or property, imprisonment, torture or even execution can all be methods of punishment. The purpose of these sanctions is twofold, to punish disobedient individuals and deter others from disobeying. 4. Zone of indifference. In too many societies, apathy is the major reason for an ugly status quo. People obey simply because it's easier to stay out of trouble and let others fight their fight. 5. Absence of self-confidence. After decades of various forms of oppression, people may lack self-confidence in their ability to make change, but remind yourself, people provide political power. You can decide, you can act, and you can bring positive change. 6. Moral obligation. Many people believe that laws are there to be respected and that all laws protect all citizens. Unfortunately, this is not always true. Bad people can make bad rules, and obeying bad rules is everything but moral. 7. Psychological identification with the rulers. Sometimes people identify with the ruler. 8. Superhuman factor. And sometimes people attach a godlike character or superhuman features to the ruler. The truth is that God did not give political power. Power is provided by the people who obey. 9. Helplessness, hopelessness. Living under harsh repression, many people develop feelings of helplessness and hopelessness. They believe things cannot change and they feel there is no hope for the future. 10. Majority behavior. People behave a certain way because they see how the majority of people are behaving. But if the majority of people start to behave differently and provide a brave and positive example, others may start to behave differently as well. Obedience derives from a combination of habits, fears and interests. So, if you want to change a society, you have to offer the people an alternative to these habits. You must give them a vision of a different society and the courage to break these habits. Don't forget that it is you who decides whether or not to obey and that you can break existing patterns of obedience. The choice is yours. Tune in for the next episode of our Manual for Nonviolent Struggle.